Arthur Bitterbiev. This guy is a animal. He's 18 and 0 with 18 knockouts. He's the only world champion that's in boxing today that has a 100% knockout ratio for every fight he's ever been in. Boxing's unstoppable force. With 19 wins, all secured by knockouts, Artur Bederbeev has carved a path of dominance. From a formidable amateur career to asserting his authority in the professional ring, Bederbeev's journey is defined by raw power. He is a three-time light heavyweight world champion, and his thunderous fists and indomitable spirit have etched his name into the annals of boxing history. Light heavyweight champion of the world! Artur Artur Asilbekovic Bederbiev, born on January 21, 1985, hails from the boxing-rich region of Kasavyurt, Dagestan, Russia. His journey into the realm of boxing commenced at an early age, where he showcased an innate talent for the sport. During his amateur career, Bederbiev achieved remarkable feats securing a silver medal at the 2007 World Championships, <laughs> narrowly falling short against the Southpaw Uzbek fighter Abos Atoev in the finals. <laughs> Bederbiev's amateur journey also included multiple gold medal victories, notably claiming gold at the 2008 World Cup where he avenged his previous loss against Abos Atoev. The Russian solidified his dominance in the ring overwhelming Atoev with his precise combinations. Bederbiev clinched the gold medal at the 2008 World Cup by showcasing his dominance over Atoev. Artur Bederbiev from Russia! He also claimed gold at the 2009 World Championships and triumphed in the light heavyweight division at both the 2006 and 2010 European Championships. The Dagestani boxer and Oleksandr Usyk crossed paths thrice during their amateur careers, with their inaugural clash occurring in 2007. Bederbiev emerged victorious in their first encounter, securing a win over the Ukrainian. However, their rivalry intensified in 2011 at the AIBA World Championships quarterfinals, where Usyk avenged his prior loss, outscoring Bederbiev to claim victory. Sells off the head of Usyk and keeping his hands a little too low. And the winner is Alexander Usyk from the Ukraine. Another monumental upset here. And then, in 2012, in what would become Bederbiev's final amateur bout, he faced Usyk once more, yet again. Usyk prevailed, defeating Bederbiev to secure the gold medal. In 2013, Bederbiev made a pivotal decision to transition to a professional boxing career, relocating to Montreal, Canada. And he made his debut on June 8th, stepping into the ring with Christian Cruz as his opponent. Artur on his pro debut, the Russian Terminator showcased his dominance in the ring. His adversary attempted to counter Bederbeev, but instead, Arthur punished him even more. With just a few seconds remaining in round one, Bederbeef sent Cruz to the canvas. That punch was perfectly timed. Cruz, unsure of what had hit him, managed to rise back to his feet, narrowly saved by the bell. In round two, the Terminator showcased his immense skill, turning Cruz into his own punching bag. Cruz is down again, clearly regretting his decisions. But a few moments later, he will face the termination. Artur Bederbiev secures victory in his first professional bout in extraordinary fashion, 
Justin Cruz's corner stops this bout, throws in the towel at 2 minutes and 21 seconds of the second round. The winner by TKO, Artur Veterbiev. Three months later, the Russian will face his next victim, Reiko Saunders. Once again, Veterbiev will demonstrate to his adversary that he operates on a completely different level. The Dagestani fighter is making his opponent look like an amateur. The Terminator is pinpointing his adversary's vital points with precision. Once again, his brick-like power sends Saunders into a dreamlike state. Saunders proves unable to withstand this destructive bomb. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Jean-Guy Bousseau stops this bout at the end of the third round. The winner by TKO, Artur In November 2013, the Russian will step into the ring for his third professional fight of the year, to further illustrate that his skills and power are in a league of their own. Artur Betterbeev is making his opponent in this professional bout look like an amateur. With sheer brute force, he finishes this fight in the first round. His adversary seems to have realized that Betterbeev is far superior to him. Gentlemen, the winner of this bout by knockout, at 2 minutes and 49 seconds of the first round, Artur Betterbeev! Artur Betterbeev ascends through the ranks propelled by his raw power and exceptional boxing skills. The Russian Terminator continues his streak, decimating his first five opponents with knockouts. One year after his debut, Baderbeev boasts a record of five wins, all by way of stoppage and knockout. With his unbeaten streak, the Dagestani fighter immediately sets his sights on his first title, challenging Tavoris Cloud for the North American light heavyweight belt. These two fighters are former champions in their own right, Betterbiev as a former World Cup champion and Cloud as a former light heavyweight world champion. Betterbiev instantly showcased his ability to throw powerful punches. He's a rigid fighter here. He can punch. But his opponent is also throwing some punches of his own. He catches a left hand from Cloud there. But then, Betterbeev switches to beast mode. The right hand over the top there from Viturbiev. And just letting that left hand go, and then a right as well, and he's got Cloud trapped here! The Russian serves his adversary a series of uppercuts for breakfast. <laughs> this shot she's don't bother people, but Cloud... Despite Cloud suffering from a concussion, he manages to rise to his feet. Only to be sent back to the canvas once again. Instincts in his career so far, and he could be about to get Cloud out of here in the very first round, and he goes down again. The pugilist refuses to give up and continues to fight. Experience he had here against Tony Stevenson is continuing against The Russian manages to send him to his knees three times in the first round. Cloud miraculously recovers from the punishment that Betterbeev inflicted. managed to recover, and that is an absolutely jolting. But in the second round, it's all over. He's trapped in the corner, taking punches. He's trying to throw back, but to no avail, and he goes down again. He's going to sit this one out. And new NABA light heavyweight champion, Artur Betterbeev. After securing the NABO champion title, Betterbeev sets his sights on the other two North American light heavyweight titles. His next opponent is the undefeated Jeff Page Jr. At the start of the round, Baderbeev struggles to connect many of his power shots due to his slick adversary's evasive maneuvers. Page throws a series of punching combinations at Baderbeev. 
of the investment thus far. He's moving, he's moving, he's moving to the right, to the left, and he's... Page's background in football seems to have aided him in dodging with agile footwork. A few moments later, we witness Betterbeev down for the first time. Down goes Betterbeev on a right hand! Page caught Betterbeev with his flashy moves, causing him to become off balance. In the second round, the Russian Terminator becomes more aggressive. Betterbeev shocks Page with his shotgun like punches. Which he's doing a very good job right now. He finally got his hand on him. Page holding on right now. He's been. But Page shakes off the damage and is ready to continue. Yet Better Beef has other plans. But you can see, Corey, that. Um, what you want to do against Better Beef? Be pulling back with your hands down. And down goes Page. The shotgun like headshot from Better Beef results in another knockdown for Page. But Page yet again survives, though not for long, as Better Beef is eager to with finish all the him. Movement, Troy. Page just does not look stable in there right now. Down he goes again, and that will be it. Artur Betterbiev secures three of the North American lightweight belts, solidifying that his power is indeed fearsome. Come in. in 2015, Betterbiev faced the veteran Gabriel Campillo in the IBF Voluntary Eliminator for the number two spot. Legitimate top ten contenders, these two. Exactly right. As always, the Russian takes the initiative with his jabs. I have to give him credit for moving quick. Pretty big ring right there, right, Virgil, which helps him. It's a 20-foot ring. That's this marks the first time Better Biev faces a southpaw opponent. Better Biev has never faced a lefty as a hard. But being a lefty won't save you from the Russian. Better Biev there on the left. That right hand sends Campillo to the dream world. Campillo's hurt already. He's in trouble. He's in trouble. He needs him against the ropes and down he goes. After that knockdown, the Russian's onslaught continues to haunt Campillo. Artur's punches seem insufficient to finish the veteran. Campillo's experience seems to have helped him survive the first round against Betterbeef. In the next round, they trade some serious punches back and forth. They exchange a few jabs with each other. But he seems to have gone to his game plan at this point. There's a law degree married with three. In the final seconds of the second round, the Russian delivers some hammering punches to his opponent. On the chin. Campillo is standing too straight. He's been an easy target right now. Two open. Boxing championships on CBS. In the third round, Bader Beev targets the solar plexus with precision. Control better be a dolphin right now. He just wants to maybe get him better be his mind as he can pick. In the fourth round, Bader Beef continues to dominate and rampage in the ring. And again, he gets it on the ropes right here from Better Beef from Russia. And Better Beef unleashes some atomic combinations to finish the bout. Right here. He's a big He got him on the chin. And down he goes. Campillo has hit the canvas. And still undefeated. Arthur ascends in the ranks, venturing to the United States for his first fight there. With his sights set on claiming the WBO International Light Heavyweight Championship against Alexander Johnson. Protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. Now. On the opening bell, the two fighters test each other, exchanging punches left and right. The eight knockout victories fighters have. I mean, but this guy has it all. Better be of here and. Baderbeev connects with some fast straights to Johnson. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say this. Johnson, using his wits, manages to survive the first round without a knockdown. First round knockout. We'll see for round number two. And in the second round, Johnson showcases his footwork and taunts Baderbeev. But Baderbeev connects with a vicious right hand to Johnson's face. Setting him up to endure some serious punishment. Johnson has to use his legs, but he can't be here against Better the Bf. ropes. Has Johnson covered up here? Wales With his defense, Johnson manages to absorb Better Beef's powerful shotgun-like punches. Keep your legs under you. But I don't think Johnson ever got hit with these types of crisps, and he's not loading up. 
He just let them go. He He's all left hand, hard. two left hands landed, an uppercut got through. Better be at the aggressor here. Johnson covered. In the last seconds of the round, Johnson manages to throw a precise punch. In rounds three and four, Johnson showcases his ability to counterpunch effectively. Good body shot. Dude, he's rich with that right hand. He likes short, tight punches. He's making it. It appears Johnson is starting to figure out Better Beef's style and approach. In the fifth round, Better Beef shocks Johnson with his subatomic left hand. He took this fight on short noted. Johnson quickly gets up, but is then welcomed with a barrage of devastating blows. A few moments later, the Russian once again showcases his immense power. Stands in front of me, he's out of there. And Johnson now takes a right and is up against the ropes. That'll be a knockdown, two knockdowns here in round number five. Johnson has nothing left, but the bell does save him and Johnson is saved by the bell, but his fate is sealed in the seventh round. You straighten your life out, you need to get back into the boxing gym. And was that another knockdown or was that a slip? I believe they'll call it a knockdown, indeed they will. Better Beef finishes the fight with a brutal temple shot to Johnson. See, it's a different fight when Johnson is in the center of the ring. And, and a slip and a right hand, and he covers up and that is it. The winner by TKO Steel, undefeated Hunter Better Beef. The Russian Terminator continues to dominate the light heavyweight competition in America with his winning streak. His next opponent in the ring is the Argentinian champion, Ezekiel Moderna. Betterbeev demonstrates to Moderna that his skills are on a whole different level. Betterbeev, you know, it should be, should be used by Moderna, the taller guy, to keep this strong. Check in with Bernardo. Round after round, Moderna remains defensive while the Russian beast relentlessly feeds him violent combinations. Undoubtedly the fight that you just was the most significant of the last century as Better Beef comes clocking in with a right hand and then another. In the third round, Better Beef demonstrates to Moderna just how dangerous he can be. And that's exactly what happened. There's another right hand that comes in as he chases him down here at the end of the third round. Moderna spits out his mouthpiece, contemplating all of his life decisions. Up, you go around the glove with that looping shot, and again, same punch to right hand around the glove. The Argentinian survived until the fourth round, but Better Beef ensured that he would not continue the fight. And you wonder if he's starting to give in. Third time he has now been down. Back of this fourth round for him to survive. I don't think fighters don't do it. They sometimes they find tremendous ways to overcome, and sometimes they give in. Fourth knockdown yeah, score. Look at Moderna, it. he's waving he's into his corner. Yeah, he's he's saying, he's I've taken it. enough. He wants the towel thrown yeah, in. Yeah, he... NABA uh, light heavyweight champion, Atu After schooling Moderna, Artur Betterbiev fought against the Latino fighter Isidro Prieto. But just 30 seconds into the fight, his adversary gets a taste of the beast's power. Better Beef shows no mercy, making the Latino fighter look like an amateur. And just moments before the round ends, Better Beef sends the Latino fighter into another dimension. While Better Beef is celebrating, Isidro seems to be in disbelief, unable to fathom that he was defeated in just the first round. After an impressive 11 wins all by knockouts, Better Beef challenged Enrico Koling for his first world championship and successfully defeated him. He continued to challenge other champions, including Oleksandr Gvozdik and Joe Smith Jr., successfully unifying the WBC, WBO, and IBF light heavyweight belts, boasting a record of 19 wins all by knockouts. And now, the WBC, IBF, WBO, light heavyweight champion of the world, Artem!